Welcome, everyone. Let's begin our lesson for today by going over the learning goals and success criteria. First, what are we learning? We're learning how to construct congruent segments using a compass and straight edge, perpendicular bisectors using a compass and straight edge, congruent angles using a compass and straight edge, angle bisectors using a compass and straight edge, and parallel lines using a compass and straight edge, as well as how to increase the length of a line segment using a compass and straight edge and increase the measure of an angle using a compass and straight edge as well as how to perform translation movements on geometric figures, reflection movements on geometric figures, and rotation movements on geometric figures. How are we learning it? Through the Constructions and Transformations NYP Assessment Assignment. When can we use this information? To create matching sets of furniture or recreate a piece of furniture. To cut boards into smaller equal pieces in order to create or repair furniture. To recreate a piece of furniture or decoration by increasing its size. To determine whether a piece of furniture will fit in your house if you move it. To understand why mirrors invert the appearance of things by switching the left and the right, and to set the time on a non-digital clock. How do you know you learned it? By getting a score of four on the Constructions and Transformations NYP Assessment Assignment. Now let's take a look at our agenda for today. We will begin by going over our learning goals and success criteria. Next, we'll do our weekly raffle. After that, I'll give you time to complete the Constructions and Transformations NYP Assessment Assignment on Desmos. At the end of class, we'll go back over our learning goals and success criteria while you fill out your before you go. Your only homework for tonight is to work on any incomplete assignments that you may have. Let's talk now about how to sign in to Desmos to complete your work. So what we're going to do is you're going to click on the link to go to the assignment. And it should take you to a page that looks kind of like this. And right here where it says sign in with Google, we're going to click there. And it's going to pop up with our email accounts. You're going to click on your school email account. And it should already have you logged in because you should have already been logged in using Google Classroom. From there, I'm just going to click start the activity and it will take me into the assignment and allow me to begin. So that's how you will log in to Desmos using Google. Let's take a look now at the Constructions and Transformations MYP Assessment Assignment. The assignment begins with the learning goals and success criteria. If we scroll down, there's a link here to take you to the Desmos activity. Go ahead and click on that link. And it should take you to a page that looks like this. We'll go ahead and click Start the Activity. The assignment begins with the learning goals and success criteria. We'll go ahead and click Next. The instructions for this say, do not open until instructed to do so. You can use a graph and calculator. You don't really need one, though, so don't worry about the calculator for this one. Answer all the questions and make sure that your answers are in the correct boxes. Unless otherwise told, round to three significant figures. There's no rounding in this assessment, so you don't need to worry about that. And then the maximum number of points for each section is eight. Make sure that you answer all the questions. So we'll go ahead and click Next. It says, in part of the drawing, and this will go in the top right of your picture, create a line segment and then copy it. So you'll create a line segment using your tools and then copy it and create another one that's identical. So you'll do that for this one. You'll do, in this one, you'll make an angle with a copy of it, and that goes in the top left. Then here in the bottom left, you're going to create a perpendicular bisector. And then here, you're going to create an angle and then create an angle bisector. And then here on slide 7, you're going to put it all together in the correct boxes. So if you do not put the parts in the correct box as instructed on the previous slides, you will not be receiving full credit for this. So make sure that you put them in the correct boxes. So you'll create your segment, your angle, your bisector, and your perpendicular bisector. Then we'll go to slide eight. Now for this one, it says translate each of the furniture. So you're actually going to draw it in. So let's say I want to move the chair over here. So I Create a chair here that represents it with my dots. And then I'm going to draw it in using the line tool. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just something to represent where it's at. So there's my chair. And now I'm going to go to where it says that I moved the chair, which is here. And I'm going to state the transformation. So how far to the left and then up did I slide it to put it against this back wall? So all of the furniture is going to go up against this back wall. So you're just going to move it as needed. Then we'll click Next. Now for this one, it asks you to reflect each of these pictures about this mirror. 
So we'll reflect it to the other side. So I'm going to draw that stuff in. So let's say I have this picture here. I'm going to draw it in over here on the other side. And it should be exactly the same distance from the mirror on both sides. So I draw that in. And then I do it again for the red and the orange picture. Make sure you change colors to represent those. And then it says, which equation for the line did you use to reflect? Well, we should see that it's this line that goes right through here. And the value is down here at the bottom. So you'd say x equals whatever that is. And then what is the function that we used? So it's a reflection over the equation of this line. So you're going to type that equation in here. Then we'll click Next again. This time we're going to rotate. So here we have our clock, and it is currently 12.15, but the time is actually 12.45, so we need to rotate it so that it goes to here. So you're going to draw in the new hands to represent it. So here's my hands. It says in blue, draw it here. So this is what it actually is. And how much do we rotate to get there? Well, we can see we rotated a certain number of degrees. So you'll state that there. And then we forgot that it's actually daylight savings and we need to fall back. So in green, we're going to draw the hands again and then state how far we need to go backwards if we want to rotate it back to being now 1145. And then when you're done with that activity, you'll go ahead and go back to your Google form and click next. This will take you to your before you go. Go ahead and fill out your before you go and then submit your work on Google Classroom.